Hello there. This is a quadratic expressions and algebraic fractions video uh, specifically looking at expanding binomial products. So to expand binomial products the steps we use will be to split the first bracket, we'll then expand each section and then we'll collect like terms. Let's see some examples. First example we're supposed to expand x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 3. So if we split that first bracket into an x and a 4, each of those uh, terms will multiply by that second bracket, x plus 3. So we'll take the x and multiply it by x plus 3, and then we'll take the 4 and multiply by x plus 3. So the first term in the first bracket multiplies with the second bracket, and the second term in the first bracket multiplies by the second bracket. So we'll expand, that's splitting the first term there, the first bracket, and then expanding each section is our next aim. We'll get x squared when we multiply x by x there. We'll multiply the x by the second term, x times 3 gives us that 3x. Then we'll move to the, uh, the second expansion. 4x is gained by doing 4 times x, that front number is multiplying by the bracket, and 4 times 3 is 12. Now we've expanded each section, now all we need to do is to have a look and see if we've got any like terms left. And you'll notice that we have a 3x and a 4x. Like terms have the same letter and power, so those 3x and 4x terms can be joined. We can add those two together and our final answer will be x squared plus 7x when we join those two together plus 12. So I've split the first bracket and had an x multiplied by the second bracket, then a 4 multiplied by the second bracket. We've expanded each of those sections and then we've looked to collect any like terms. Another example. If we split this bracket, this first bracket, we've got an x multiplied by x plus 6 and a minus 3 multiplied by x plus 6. Let's have a look at the, how that pans out. So x times x plus 6 and minus 3 times x plus 6. x squared when we multiply x by x here. Then we have a 6x when we multiply the x and the 6. Got to be a little careful here. Anytime you have a minus in front of a bracket, be a little careful with the signs. Minus 3 times x can be just listed as minus 3x, but here's the bit that a lot of students get wrong. Minus 3 times a plus 6, just be careful of your plus and minus rules here, a minus times a plus makes a minus answer. A lot of students will get it wrong there, so just slow yourself down and be careful. Can you see any like terms there? I think you can see we have a 6x, a plus 6x and a minus 3x, so we'll join those together and make x squared plus 3x, 6 minus 3 is 3, minus 18. So that expanding of those uh, binomial products there gave us x squared plus 3x minus 18. Careful with the signs on that second bracket. Third example, let's split this uh, first term up into a 3x multiplied by x minus 4 and a minus 2 multiplied by x minus 4. So 3x outside of x minus 4 and minus 2 outside of x minus 4. Once again, we have a minus number in front of a bracket in that second section. We'll have to be a little careful there. 3x squared is gained by getting 3x times x, x times x, x squared. Then we have a 3x multiplied by a minus 4 here. That makes minus 12x. Second bit, minus 2 times x is just listed as minus 2x. Now here's where a lot of students will go wrong. We have the next section which is a minus times a minus. Minus 2 times minus 4 is a positive 8. Let's have a look for any like terms now. We have a minus 12x and we're minusing, we're subtracting 2x more. So minus 12 on the number line minus another 2 gives us minus 14x plus 8. So we have a front number there because we had a front number in front of the, uh, we had a coefficient of x there, a number in front of the x. So we've got to be careful there, and this is the section to be careful of. When you've got a minus number in front of a bracket, just be careful with the signs. You could even type that into your calculator and double check that minus 2 times minus 4 gives you plus 8, just to, just to be sure. Alright, here's another one. We'll split that first term up here. So we'll have 6x multiplied by the second bracket, minus 3 multiplied by the second bracket, and then uh, we'll look to expand each section. 
So we have, when we have 6x times 2x, 6 times 2 is 12, x times x is x squared. Then we'll have the 6x multiplying by the 4, giving us 24x. Then we have the minus 3 times the 2x, and we'll be careful once again in that last bit. Minus 3 times plus 4, a minus times a plus makes a minus answer, 3 4s are 12. The like terms we have here are plus 24, minus 6, both having an x next to them, so they're like, they're like terms. So we can simplify that a little bit further. 12x squared plus 18x minus 12. So once again, the bit we were slowing down and be careful of, uh, just that end bit there, so we get the right signs on that final term. So expanding binomial products, we saw that the steps were to split the first bracket, to expand each section carefully, particularly when there's a minus number in front of one of the brackets, and then we we're able to collect like terms if there are any. Okay, hope that helps. PeterBlakeMaths.com. That's expanding binomial products. See you next time.